Hey family, welcome to Lightworks. I hope that you are blessed and well today. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. There will definitely be something here for you in this video or in any of the other videos in the library. Feel free to check them out. The energy today is very solemn. I feel like somebody needs to know that the divine knows what you're going through. I'm picking up on the energy of somebody that's feeling alone. You're not alone. There is somebody that the divine is sending in, in the physical, that's going to be of great support to you. Right now in the physical, you may not have a lot of support. You have a ton of energetic support. But I feel like uh, the divine is sending somebody in on your timeline right now. I was guided to this book, Seeing Beautiful Again. This is a book that I really, really love. This book was like a spiritual guide for me in one of the darkest periods of my life. And... I feel like whoever you are, they guided me to this book because there's something that's going to resonate with you. Let's go ahead and take a few long deep breaths. Inhale positive life force energy. Exhale and release any stress or anxiety that you may be feeling at this time. as I sat back and started connected with the selenite I found myself planting my feet firmly on the ground okay whoever you are you are definitely needing to ground um, find a grounding meditation to help you get grounded is very important um, I understand I feel as though you have been praying a lot and staying connected but I feel like this is why the God your guys are going to send somebody in the physical because you um, you're needing to ground yourself you're needing to come back to earth in a way that's going to allow you to do whatever this is you need to do there's something that is coming up that you're going to need to do and in order for you to do that, you're going to need to be grounded. Okay. Okay, so the color red with the root chakra is coming up. Solar plexus chakra. Let's get into it. Are we going here first? Yes. Most High God, Divine Holy Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Divine Beings of the Highest White Light, please come in and connect with me now. Please allow me to channel the current energies for the collective to reveal what we need to know. Let there be none of me and all of you. Please anoint and authorize every word that comes out of my mouth and encamp the angels of war and protection around myself and the collective. Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, please be present. Ashe. Thank you for your guidance, your your protection, your support. Okay. All right. So they guided me here. It says, frame the disappointment by remembering what you do have so you don't get consumed by what's been taken. It's incredibly emotional when you're when you've dreamed and planned and invested in what you thought would be a very normal expectation and then your hope is hijacked. But remember, being good to other people has not been canceled. Learning, growing and maturing have not been canceled. The need to grieve and get counseling has not been canceled. Fun has not been canceled love has not been canceled 
God's goodness is not canceled. Rest in that joy. Rest in that. Rejoice in that. Be so very reassured because of that. Okay, so exactly what the channel message is about you feeling like you don't have support, even though whoever you are, I feel like you have been praying and meditating. I feel like you have been connecting a lot. Right now, you, I feel like you're praying a lot and continuously and you're not realizing that the divine is working on giving you what it is that you need. And also showing up in some subtle ways right before your eyes is what I'm picking up. With all of this fun isn't canceled, love isn't canceled, God's uh, attention and what you're doing is not canceled. It's 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 almost like somebody that prays all throughout the day because they feel like the prayers you prayed are not. It's like the energy of God. Did you hear me? God, did you hear me? God, did you hear me? OK, so somebody needs to sit and allow the divine to speak to you. But in order for you to do that, you're going to have to get grounded in and really relax in allow the divine to speak to you to connect with you to let you know before the god can respond it's like you're already sending out another prayer I, I know this sounds confusing and there's nothing wrong with praying but your beliefs need to change you are riddled with doubt okay and this is why you feel like you need to keep praying this way you don't believe you don't believe that the divine heard you you don't believe that things are going to get done so it's almost like you need to pray and then sit and wait to hear sit and meditate for a moment and allow the divine to speak to you okay so more meditation definitely quieting the mind and allowing the divine to speak to you. There are so many things that you're missing out on that is right in front of you um, that can bring you that joy and peace that is there. It's just like you're not grabbing it. You're not focusing on that. You're focusing on, I need to keep praying for this to happen. I need to keep praying for that to happen. And a lot of it is happening. You're just too focused on trying to get it instead of seeing that it's already there okay i hope that that message is coming through clear for someone so let's see <clears throat> i'm gonna go to the who are you deck first to see what this is these are the who are you cards that i have channeled with my guides different characteristics personalities occupations mindsets that we are in. Okay, let's see what wants to come out. Please keep in mind that these readings are for entertainment purposes only. Take only what resonates with you and leave the rest. If anything comes out regarding mental health, physical health, law, finances, family matters, legal matters, romance, or any of that, please do seek out professional assistance in those areas, okay? Also, if there's anything that you need to know about the channel, you can check the description box, ways to uh, book personal readings, donate to the channel, join the family, join the raffles, all of that information is in the description box. What we got? The Critic. This is exactly the energy I'm picking up on. Microscopic diagnosis on yourself and others, okay? So this is like, I don't see it, I don't see it. It's not there. It's like almost a critic to the divine. It says a microscopic diagnosis of you and others. You're like, what happened? I prayed about this God, it's not here, what's happening? 
I didn't get it. I didn't get it yet. This is that energy. A very, a very antsy energy. This is that this is why you need to get grounded. Okay. What else, Holy Spirit? The reader in reverse, not able to see something clearly. Okay. A lot of blue out here, okay? And this is because you're doing a lot of speaking and not a lot of uh, quieting, okay? This is throat chakra energy is overactive. Root chakra, solar plexus chakra is underactive, okay? Also, I feel like somebody could have gone to somebody, a reader, that... I'm looking at diagnosis here. I feel like somebody gave you some faulty information about a situation. Whoever this person is that you've gone to, okay, with bottom of the deck, we have the criminal illegal operation. I'm not saying that this person is a criminal, and I'm not saying that they're doing anything fraudulent, but I'm saying there was some type of a misdiagnosis or a misread on whatever information that you receive from this person. What else is this reader information? I don't know what this is. Strategist, okay. So this person that you connected with either guided you in the wrong way for you to strategize to do something um, or this is their strategy to tell you what you want to hear or whatever means to get paid okay it says premeditated moves so this person i don't know what they told you but they misinformed you okay magician in the reverse on the bottom of the deck i don't too much care for this energy thank you holy spirit with the magician in reverse powerful manifester i feel like you connected with somebody that wants to keep you coming there wants to minimize your own alchemy and value so that you'll continuously be dependent upon them and this is why you keep sending up all these prayers and you keep going back to this person and they keep making you need to go back if that makes sense Mm. Yeah, look at this. Behind the magician in the reverse is you are the light worker, okay? But somebody's got you feeling like you're not able to manifest. You're not able to do anything. I don't know what who this person is. We're going to clarify this person. Let's see what else wants to come out. The follower in reverse I feel like this is what the divine is wanting you to see about yourself with the critic and the follower in reverse the divine is wanting you to see that you are misdiagnosing yourself you don't realize that you don't need to follow this person or anyone else you don't you are a manifester you have the ability to call in what you want instead your prayers are verbalizing what you don't have if that makes sense so it's like you're manifesting and you're getting what you're saying you have. It hasn't come yet. I don't know when this is going to happen and why this is happening to me. It's not happening. I've been praying for it. It's not here. That's what I'm hearing. A very anxious energy. What? What? What is it that they're praying for, Holy Spirit? What is it that they're wanting to happen? Or what is this? The mature one, the higher perspective, is clarity. 
You're asking for clarity about a situation. You want to be able to see something. Or you're being guided to look at something from a different perspective. The chosen one. Okay. <laughs> you don't see this. You don't see this. You're asking the divine to show you something. Maybe show you that you're chosen. Give you some type of sign. And I'm not calling you delusional. But... It's like you are lacking clarity about who you are, your situation, the power that you hold, the counsel that you are seeking. Somebody's either, I don't know if you're paying for a reading or you're just watching readings, general readings, and that's always a bad thing. If you're watching general readings and you're modeling your life or your actions based on what a general reading told you, never do that, okay? General is general. That means it's for anyone, okay? Billions of people on this planet, okay? It's, so don't do that, including my readings. It may really closely resonate with you, but that does not mean that everything associated in these reads are for you and everyone, okay? So that's why you will always hear people say, take what resonates and leave the rest, Okay, oftentimes a lot may resonate, but key parts of it won't. And whoever you are, I feel like you're getting this and you're internalizing whatever you're getting as your truth. And then you're going to the divine with this creative energy asking why things are not coming in, why this isn't happening for me. What am I not seeing? I want to be able to see what's going on. I want to know that I'm chosen. I want you to show me. Okay. Let's get this reader energy because there's something very sinister on this reading energy. Give me one more for this reader. Ooh. This reader knows you are chosen it says shining the light exposure this person knows who you are and this is some type of agent so they're trying to intentionally block your path Please clarify, Holy Spirit. Can't make it up. This is an agent. This is an agent. This person. But how, Holy Spirit? How are they getting our loved one locked in? What is this energy? This reader in the reverse, an agent. The saint in the reverse. The watcher. Okay, observing a situation, person, place, or thing. This person has been watching you in some way. I feel like you initially went to this person. This person noticed who you are. And this person had has started to watch you. And make moves against you. You have turned this person with the follow in the reverse into some type of leader. You look up to this person. Two for one, I'm hearing, okay? Wow, this person is a karmic. This agent, okay? The helper in reverse. This person's not trying to help you. Give me one more for this Holy Spirit. The tech. This is giving me the energy of crafting something. Manipulating something. 
the pro okay it's it now look at it it fell in the reverse it was in the reverse and now back in the reverse okay this is not somebody the believer in the reverse this is a dark agent that you've been going to that has you thinking all wildly okay with that antsy energy i don't know what this person is telling you i heard i can clear it i can clear it okay as i said that the ten of swords is here okay person's making you think something's wrong and it's not This person is all about you giving them money. You are a golden egg, chosen one energy. This person has you in the palm of their hands, whoever you are. This person feels like they've come upon a gold mine, okay? And whoever you are, you're paying this person in some way, okay? Definitely. This, like I said, the watcher here, like it came out. Page of Swords. I feel like whoever you are after your first reading, this person started watching you in some type of way closely. I don't know how, but they're watching. Okay? Look at this. Ten of Coins. This person is stealing your energy. Every time you go and pay them, they deplete you of your energy and place you in the energy of fear. This is having you unsettled, ungrounded, okay, in panic mode, critic energy, worried, stressed out, okay. What else should we be aware of? Ace of Coins, okay. This person, and you could, you could have great wealth because I see nothing but pinnacles coming out okay but you are a money tree to this person this person is manifesting off your energy this person is taking your money this person is making you feel like this wanted to flip over like you don't have anything like your opportunities are being taken from you and you are going in and praying to the divine for the divine to bring in oh, I just placed this in the reverse why Holy Spirit this is falling on top of credit. So you feel, you have decided in your mind that the divine has not sent you what you asked for. So you keep asking for it. You keep telling the divine, I, I missed the opportunity. I need you to give me another chance. Okay, this card says missed opportunity. Okay. Give me something for the agent, Holy Spirit, please. And thank you. The world card, okay? This could be a reader that is online. This could be a person that's affiliated with an organization that is their agents of darkness. There's something that's about to happen that's about to end this connection with this person speak holy spirit six of swords the divine is moving you out of this energy this person has put you on the radar of other dark agents i feel like there's a host of people siphoning off your energy right now five of swords you got a lot of people that are in this ruthless energy when it comes to you in your energy I heard I've got the golden ticket. 
Okay, this is these people, all this money out here, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Okay, these people feel like your energy is balancing something out in their world. Okay, what's follower in the reverse, Holy Spirit? Two of coins. Okay, not grounded here, there, everywhere. Okay, not in this energy of being a leader, not realizing that you are a leader, wavering in your beliefs in yourself, wavering in your beliefs in what the divine is doing for you. You're, you're, you're needing to balance. You're needing to ground. Okay, not as swords on the bottom of the deck. Mentally, not, not there right now. What's the strategist? Three of coins. There's a group of people that are working together. Money. Notice how the majority of these cards, out of seven tarot cards, five of them are pentacles. This is a group that's all about money. Okay? All about building off the backs of others. They can start their new beginnings and be in control, okay, especially of unsuspecting people that do not realize that they are the magician, that they are the alchemist, that they have the power within them, that they are the chosen one, okay, that they are the hierophant, that they're being guided by the hierophant, okay. This person did some type of spell work on you. I'm seeing that now with the magician here for you to be in this four of cups. For you to not see something. Please clarify this strategist energy and this spell work. Okay. The higher frame with the high priestess. This is some type of organization. Um, they're not upright with the high priestess. This person it has the ability to see. Okay. But this person uses their gifts for evil. Okay. The divine is definitely zooming in. There are some moves being made with the strategist centering this read in your spirit, guys. Three of pentacles working together on your behalf behind the scenes. The divine is working on these this situation. Okay, this is why you need to be grounded. And they're trying to move you away from the, this group. I don't know what it is you're doing. If you have some type of monthly or bi-weekly connection to this person where you get, you pay a certain amount and you get a certain amount of reading, something like that is coming up. Anything else for the strategists? No, they're coming. That's what I heard. No. Look what's on the bottom of the day. No, they're coming. Strategist. Okay, that's all that needs to be said about that. What is the watcher? I heard no. Okay. No. That doesn't need any clarifying. Okay, we all know what the watchers are. The temperance angelic energy okay yes they're coming okay what's mature one five of wands i'm sorry five of coins so many pinnacles out here this is wild mature one and this is you not seeing Having an immature feeling like there's misfortune here when you have so much wealth, okay, out here, wherever you are. Um, I don't feel like you're asking for wealth. I don't feel like you, that is what you are feeling like you're lacking. But you feel what is this about purpose, Holy Spirit? I'm yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. King of Wands energy, okay? Power, purpose, 
clarity, authority, um, mostly purpose. Why am I here? What am I meant to do? Okay, so you feel lost, whoever you are. What is this uh, five of coins on the mature one? Knight of wands in the reverse, all over the place, needing to ground your energy. Okay, senseless risk is what's on this card. What did this reader tell our loved one? What did this reader say? Okay, Six of Cups. Okay, it's in the reverse. This person has you focusing on the past in the negative way. It says lost in the past. They're sending you on a wild goose chase is what I'm hearing. Wanting you to get clarity about something that is not relevant. Wanting you to focus on some type of loss and pain or something like that. And it's not where you're, you've already moved beyond that. Give me more on this Six of Cups in the reverse. Seven of Wands in the reverse. Lacking courage, lacking protection, feeling exposed. Not able to stand in your power. This person is just trying to really jack you up to feast off of your energy. What else, Holy Spirit? King of Swords. I feel like this is your guys trying to connect with you and bring you out of emotions and give you the clarity that you need. Okay, but in order to do so, you need to get grounded. Okay, with Hangman here, I feel like they're trying to get you in Hermit. They're trying to get you away from this group or this person. What's the chosen one, Holy Spirit? The devil in reverse. Yeah, they're trying to get you away from this devil energy. You are the chosen one. You are the earth angel. Devil in reverse. Okay, King of Swords, I placed it on the Chosen One, okay? I feel like Archangel Michael is definitely significant here. They're trying to give you clarity about you being this Earth Angel, you being this alchemist, this magician, this powerful person. Okay, right now the blinders are on. In the Seven of Cups, there's a lot of confusion. That's because this person is doing this, this tech energy, this devil energy. Ace of Wands, Five of Wands. I said Five of Wands earlier and didn't realize why. But this person is bringing a lot of chaos so that you never cross this line. You never even get started, okay? You're just stuck in that ready-to-go position. And you're right here on the other side of this line praying and asking the divine to help you get over it when all you have to do is go over it, okay? There is a powerful new beginning here that you're about to create with the tech and the Ace of Wands. The Watchers, the Divine, the Spirit Guides are coming. I heard they're coming. Okay? They're about to bring someone into your physical reality to help you come out of this chaos. This person could be an expert in some capacities. This person is going to bring a tower in to help you move beyond this line. What is this energy, Holy Spirit? The Nine of Coins, yes, to get to this wish fulfillment, this tower has to happen, okay? I'm seeing the Nine of Wands. I feel like this person is a wounded warrior. This is somebody that's going to be able to identify with you where you are. I can't make it up, speak Holy Spirit, okay? 
This is this person. This is a very powerful person. This person has or will be watching you in the physical. Give me more on the Nine of Wands, please, Holy Spirit. This is a King of Wands energy. Very powerful energy. Wheel of Fortune. Okay. This is fated for you to come in con into contact with this person. Inside man. This is an inside man. This is somebody that is affiliated with a group of people, but this person is not a dark agent. This person is the inside man. This person is the divine has planted this person. Ooh, speak Holy Spirit. Give us more Holy Spirit. The Watcher, okay? Page of Swords, Nine of Wands is on top of Page of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, they're guiding me not to go too far, far into that. Okay, follow your intuition when it comes to what you just saw. Okay, I'm not being guided to disclose much more about this person. But this person is about to come in contact with you. And they're about to help you move out of this. <clears throat> then I just say follow your intuition. Yes, that's a confirmation. Follow your intuition with the moon. Okay? Because they don't want you focused on what you see. This person is blindfolded. The moon represents intuition. Do not follow what you see. Okay? Follow how you feel. In your intuition. Not emotion. Intuition. Okay? There's going to be a clear indication of this person's intentions when you connect with them. This Nine of Wands. Do not fester. Do not overthink. Do not get in your head. Okay, I'm seeing the Eight of Swords now. Whoever you are, this is why you need to ground because... Your intuition is going to flow. If you are in this panicked energy, it will not flow. Okay, so get grounded. Grounding meditation. Because it's going to be a subtle. This person. This is the person you need to talk to. This is the person that the divine has guided in. You're going to get that nudge. But if your energy is balanced and clear. Okay, I keep seeing the eight of swords. Why Holy Spirit? Okay, look. Look what flipped over. Okay. You got to ground and clear your energy. This is the divine is really, really putting emphasis on it. I see it in my third eye and it pops out. Okay. This you got to come out of here. You got to come out of here. You are a sharp one. Whoever you are, they're showing me a lot about you right now. You have no idea. Mm, this person has put some type of cloak of deception over you. They really tried to jack you up. This is why you're in this frantic energy. What's the Eight of Swords? Yeah. Ending of this Eight of Swords. They, you've got to get out of there. Okay? You've got to get out of there. What else, Holy Spirit, for this? Okay. They want me to clarify the Eight of Swords with the Who Are You? There's some type of cloak that, that's been put on top of you by this, this person, this agent. 
Yeah, they're saying that's a confirmation with the intuitive coming out. What type of cloak is this? I feel like it's, it's a chaos. It's a fear. And just a lot of false energy about yourself. What's the Eight of Swords? What is this cloak energy? Law enforcement. Okay. This is giving me the energy. And look, fire man, fire woman. This is giving me panic energy. Okay. Like you need some law enforcement or a fireman or fire woman for the emergency that you have going on. This is panic. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So... Somebody got you really, really scared. Messenger. This is the message they sent to you with whatever spell work they put on you. For law enforcement to be called out or a fireman or a firewoman to be called out, there's an emergency, a dire need to have help. Okay? This makes a lot of sense now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, look, at I just saw Hierophant in the reverse. It's like... Making you think you're not connected to the divine. This is why you're constantly knocking on the divine's door like, did you hear me, God? Did you hear me? With that panic, I get it. I get it. This person is a doozy. Show me what's going to happen. With mm, somebody's getting put to rest. Ace of Swords, that's the truth. Something or someone, Holy Spirit. It's, thank you, Holy Spirit. This person that guided me to pull another tarot deck for this agent, reader in reverse energy. Yeah, this person has been doing this work and getting their wish fulfillment. Creating panic. Eight of Swords. What do we need to know? It's going back. All this panic energy. This person's about to be petrified. Mm, 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 mm. This wheel is heavy here, y'all. Whoa, this wheel is heavy. This person is about to lose their mind. I'm feeling that strong. Eight of Swords is right beneath this. What this person did to you, you're a chosen one. None of this is all, is going to take you out. It's going to be able to destroy you. You are a divine being, okay? So the magnitude of this spell work that these people, this is some powerful spell work, but it was never going to hit you the way it's about to hit them. That is that is what it's it's like. Oh my! This was like with the, the seven of pentacles being the first card out. You were going to be a lifetime investor in these people with your finances and your energy. They cloaked you, put this spell over you, for you to forever be coming back, giving money and giving your energy, being depleted. And constantly making these people richer and richer. Ten of Pentacles out here. Ace of Pentacles out here. Okay. Wow. So. The magnitude of this return. Of this energy. This person. Eight of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune. Law Enforcement. Fire. Woman. Fire. Man. Energy. Emergency energy. This person is going to completely lose their mind okay like I just lost these cards something's here okay mm -mm -mm. this person is gonna lose it okay tower two of swords Okay. Judgment. Mm -hmm. This group I'm hearing. 
three or more. Show me something for this group, Holy Spirit. Then I say the temperance with the watchers over here that they won't let me go too deep into. Let me tell you something, okay? Mm -mm 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 -mm. These people have no idea, no idea what they have done, who they have done it to. And they've gotten a lot of money out of whoever you are. That is evident. Gotten a lot of your energy. But this Knight of Wands energy, I just placed the judgment right on top of it. The Divine has sent this Knight of Wands into this camp, okay? What else for the judgment with the Nine of Wands, Holy Spirit? Empress, okay? This person is definitely going to be watching over you. Helping you get into this place of the Empress energy. The Empress knows that they are blessed. The Empress calls in what they need. Okay? The Empress knows it's coming. Okay? This is going to completely change your energy. Okay? Your stability. Okay? Grounding you. Yourself. Yeah. This is what this Nine, nine of Wands is coming in for. Is this a romantic partner, Holy Spirit? This person could be a romantic partner as well. Take the roles as they fit, okay? Yeah, that's a confirmation. I said this person was a king of wands earlier. Yeah, this person is definitely potentially a counterpart for you. What else do we need to know? Her advice. There's something I want you to ask yourself that's going to help you snap out of something. Queen of Cups. Something about self-love, self-care, nurturing yourself. Let's see. What needs to be released? What do you need to release at this time? Doubt, fear. Nothing will come of this situation. Okay. This is your present energy. There, You need to release this mentality. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I said what needs to be released when I felt them wanting you to pose a question to yourself and seeing the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups talks about nurturing, loving energy and they're wanting you to be in this self-love, nurturing energy, taking care of yourself and asking yourself, what am I sitting in currently that is not serving me? What do I need to release? You need to release the idea that whatever you're asking for, nothing is coming, okay? Your prayers are not being answered. We have achievement on the bottom of the deck. There's a lot of blessings here for you. Once you get this spell work off of you, you definitely need to cleanse your energy and ground. But this person is going to talk to you, say something to you, guide you in some way that's going to help you. What other advice do you have, Holy Spirit? <laughs> we have searching within and courage. <laughs> Speak, Holy Spirit. Very important. You're being guided to screenshot these. Hopefully, you can get a good screenshot and read it. Specifically, searching within. Because it's on the inside of you and they need you to know that. Searching within. What I see outside myself is simply a mirror of my inner self. Today, I empower myself by looking past outer conditions and searching within for the source of a difficulty in my life. My inner wisdom will always help me face life's challenges. 
It provides my best answers and my greatest healing. As I study myself, I am transformed. Ashe. Courage. You are safe. Fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. Okay? You are being guided once you... I feel like this Nine of Wands is really going to really help bring a beautiful tower in for you. And you're going to stop looking outside of yourself. Okay? You could even be highly intuitive. We did have the High Priest coming out earlier. But whatever this spell work that, that they, they've done... It's cloaking that and putting you in panic mode. So I feel like you're really going to be going within, following your intuition. We have the moon out here as well. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They reminded me. Yes, you are an intuitive. You, we saw the intuitive coming out as well. So you could be quite intuitive. And I want to know, what was the initial reason for the very first read our loved one God let me see okay <laughs> they I split the deck and they said yes okay so the emperor with the chariot it's about your direction your what you're meant to do where you're going Leadership energy, boss energy, what you were meant to be doing, where the divine was guiding you, being the big boss, the divine. Okay, that was your initial question that you posed to this reader. And this reader discovered you were a chosen one and you had this purpose. And instead of giving you that insight, they gave you the total opposite and put you in panic mode. Yeah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Look at this. Because you are the star. Okay. Star seed energy, ten of cups energy. Okay. The moon again, quite intuitive, gifted. Okay. Powerful. All of this they've tried to conceal with this chaos. Okay. But it's all right. You learned. Okay. This this happens to the best of us. You lived and you learned and you're gonna get you're gonna get out of this. Okay, because God's hands are all over you. Okay, and this is gonna make you a lot stronger with this courage here. This is giving me warrior energy. Sitting on top of the wheel of fortune and the judgment. Ooh, I think I'm gonna extend this. I feel like you're about to step into something very powerful. Okay, look at this warrior energy here. With the will and the judgment, that's destiny. That's calling, whatever calling is on your life. Beneath that, we have law enforcement and firemen. You are about to step into something very, very powerful. And we are going to tap into that energy. I love you, family. That was the read that this is where you are going to leave it. Thank you so much for uh, being a part of this. Know that you are extremely powerful and the divine has a very powerful uh, position of authority coming up for you. I am very, very uh, anxious to get into that and see what it is. So I'm going to extend this read. All my information is in the description box. If you need a meditation, check out the Lightworks goodie bag in the description box to... Uh, Get yourself a good grounding meditation and clearing meditation. It's free. It's there just because I love you. I want you to stay grounded and stay ready so you ain't got to get ready, okay? Um, be mindful of the frequencies. I'm not responsible for how they feel for you. Some may be too strong, so use your discernment, okay? Until next time, loved ones, peace and blessings. Ashe.